Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendo for Physician Perspectives. I'd like to talk about fat to lean mass ratio is associated with glucose metabolic disorders. A strong body of evidence shows that fat and muscle are interconnected in a way that the imbalance between them may exert a synergistic effect on the risk of developing glucose metabolic disorders. It is well known that fat infiltration into muscle is associated with low muscle strength and progressive decline in total energy expenditure stemming from decreased physical activity and reduced basal metabolic rate. So given the role of obesity and or the fat muscle imbalance in the pathogenesis of glucose metabolic disorders, several anthropometric indices such as body mass index, total body fat and waist circumference have been used for both estimate the obesity status and early recognizing the risk of developing glucose metabolic disorders. So within this context, the authors evaluated whether the imbalance between total body fat and total lean mass measured by fat to lean mass ratio is associated to glucose metabolic disorders. Eligible subjects in this study were healthy men and non-pregnant women with a new diagnosis of glucose metabolic disorders that were allocated into the following five groups. 1. Normal glucose tolerance. 2. Diabetes. 3. Impaired fasting glucose plus impaired glucose tolerance. 4. Impaired glucose tolerance. And the fifth, impaired fasting glucose. And the fat to lean mass index and the odds ratio between the fat lean mass index and glucose metabolic disorders were estimated. The authors concluded that the fat to lean mass index was strongly associated with all categories of glucose metabolic disorders. Thank you.